Hey everybody, this is Baker, and I don't know why I just uh, did that. Um, so I got this sexuality in, uh, essay I gotta do, but I don't feel like doing that because it's about sex change and uh, circumcision stuff, and I don't know. I felt like doing a tutorial. Um, gonna be doing some introduction to like a 3D text a little bit and kind of reflection. It's like pseudo reflection like half not it's not like real but um what i'm gonna be doing is i should have done this before but uh i'm going with my first try with this first take don't even care um yeah so here we go let's start with going on here oh, let's start with a text layer or just uh click t right here let's write some text so oh text okay and uh, let's bring up, go to here, title action safe, so we can center this. Good. And uh, somebody asked me, how do you texture a text? Well, here's how you do it. You get a picture with a texture, right? Okay. So I'm going to rotate this 90 just because I know it's long ways already. And fit it down however you like it. And change the track mat right here to alpha mat. <laughs> right there. Look at that. Uh. But... Our text, you know, it doesn't say what's it. So what we're gonna do is, let's undo that. So keep it like this. Highlight both of them and go to layer pre-compose, and just call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it text. So we got some transparency, so it sticks. So it's like all textured and whatnot. Um. So this first method. Is pretty simple. It's not recommended. It's uh, I would only use this for like a static graphic, as in uh, like a background not moving kind of thing. You know, just like a like a logo almost. Pretty simple, I think. So um, duplicate it and click scale and scale it down some. Maybe like I don't know, 95. You'll see like the little edges right there. So maybe not so much. Maybe like 97. And what I do is go to curves or layer, no, effect color correction, curves, drag that onto the bottom layer, and just barely darken it a little bit. Maybe give it a tiny bit of blue. Um, but, um, maybe not. If you do that to the back, maybe do it to the front, and undo that. Okay, so it's kind of, you know, and then if you want, Duplicate it again and change the scale even more. So that went down 3%. So this is down 3%, 94. So there you go. Kind of, you can see that. Just a little bit of 3D. It's not really 3D. Um, this is all 2D layers. So that's why it's, I would recommend it for a static, not moving kind of graphic. Um, but what if you want like actual 3D, you know, turn the camera a little bit. So what you can do is, let's delete these two. So again, we just have that transparency one, one layer. Um, go to click toggle switch and click the box right here. It turns it into a 3D layer. So if I made a camera really quick, whatever's fine, 35. And I went to orbit camera, you can see it's 3D. But it's like a flat 3D, you know. So what you can do here, this is what I like to do. Well, let's see here. Let's delete this camera first. Okay. So we got 3D layer, duplicate it, and let's push P for both of these so it brings up the position. And let's offset the Z position, I don't know, 10, 10 pixels or so. If you want to see 20. Yeah, 20. Because we're going to do this a lot. So 20, let's go by 20. It's 20, 40, duplicate, 60, duplicate, 80, duplicate, and 100. Now what I'm going to do here is, oh, let's see, I should have done this before again too. Whatever. Bevel, let's get some bevel in here. Bevel alpha, and I don't want to fine-tune these, so I'll just copy and paste all of these real quick. So it kind of, you see it's like darker here and then lighter on the side, so it's kind of like the lights the top left. Um, what we're going to do here is take all of these 3D layers, pre-compose that, 
call it 3D text. Woo! -hoo. And then now if we create a camera, uh, and we need to click 3D here and collapse transformation, this little sun looking thing, right there as well. Because if you orbit now, now it's getting closer to like actual 3D-ness. But if you, it's just like, it's just offsetting 2D layers. So if you go all the way, you know, it's just flat lines again. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but I mean, um, I don't know. This is maybe for like very simple camera movements. And uh, obviously, if you offset them tinier, you won't see these lines. And it'll look a little better. Um, what was I going to say? Next tutorial later. Um, I'm going to have part two, and it's going to be like actual 3D filled in, almost like Cinema 4D, but still not as good. Um, I also want to go over really quick a kind of fake reflection. I just burped. Um, check this out. So we'll make a new solid. Let's make it a square solid. So let's just do 720 by 720. And let's type in grid here. Generate grid. Alright, so we got this little grid, it's kind of thick, let's turn it down to 2 maybe. Won't really be able to see it, but we will pre-compose this. You'll see why in a second. And you want to move all the attributes, and we'll call this grid floor, or something like that. Put it underneath our text, okay. So we'll turn this into a 3D layer now, and we'll push R to rotate. And let's rotate it 90, I believe, on the x-axis, yes. So now we got this floor and we need to push P and lower the Y value until it's just under our, our text and we can make it more accurate by going to the front view and lining this up to the bottom of the text. Let's go back to active camera. All right. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Go back to the grid floor comp. Our solid is only 720 by 720, but our comp is larger than that. So let's change our comp settings to the size of that solid. Real quick, 720 by 720. See, there you go. Just a square. So when we go into our other comp, we will type in motion tile, stylized motion tile, onto our grid floor. And we can extend this like 300 by 300. And then there we go. Big looking floor grid thing. Yeah. Anyways, on to that quick thingy. I was going to say. Take our 3D text, duplicate it, and we will press S for scale. Unclick the link right here. Go to the second one, which is our Y value, and type in negative 100. And that should flip it like that. And now click lock again if you want and push P for position and then bring this down just below that text and let's see we'll rename this reflection alright look at that and uh, of course we can maybe let's see let's go to curves bring that into a reflection maybe darken it just a tad and a little bit more maybe I don't know Maybe a little bit of blur. Let's go to fast blur. And maybe blur it, I don't know, two, two pixels. Yeah. But you can see our grid is not on top. So let's take our grid, put it right in between. There you go. Now we can make a simple camera movement. So push A, shift P. So you have point of interest and position, keyframe. Go over two seconds, keyframe. Go back to the beginning and let's move our camera. Let's orbit a little bit. There. Now this is just simple introduction kind of kind of thing like last time, but um, let's just see what we got so far. Now I'm previewing at quarter, so it's gonna be kind of blurry. But check this out. It looks like we got a shiny floor, and it's uh, maintaining perspective and all that. Pretty, pretty dirty, huh? I know. Look at that. Sexy, sexy text. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Um, next, 
next tutorial I'm going to be going over something like this real quick. Made a new comp. Do this really quick. Text. Uh, you don't need to follow along right now. Um, solid. I've actually seen this on someone else's tutorial, but I just want to share it with you guys. Boom. There we go. Like, let's make this camera position. Yeah, whatever. Okay, check this out. This is like actual, actual 3D with no, with no lines, no parallax kind of thing. And uh, I'll be teaching you how to do some cool reflection with the front face and um, texturing, things like that. Um, that should be coming up. I might actually do it today, but I don't know. We'll see about this essay and, and whatnot. So uh, let me know how I did. Let me know if you have any more requests, et cetera, et cetera. And this has been Baker with the tutorial and stuff. And uh, peace out, guys. Okay. Night-night. Goodbye.